Hi guys, today we will learn about job schedule in practical way. So for that job schedule is present in records, this admin job schedule. We have to open job schedule. All the OOTB uh, job schedule list will be there. From there you can create your own. I have just now created this re uh, report creation job schedule. I have enabled the job schedule and here I have put as a background processing so background processing I have selected for a node type and it runs on all associated node or any one associated anything you can select as per your requirement and scheduled I have put as multiple times a day after every one minute so this job scheduler will run for every one minute okay so the context of this job scheduler will be specifying access group my access group as per the application is EGB app colon administrator and this is the class and this is the activity which I am going to perform this activity is having nothing but an email sending so as and when the email goes I mean email is sent triggered the job scheduler is running is what my understanding for now so this is the rule and this is the uh, activity which I have used for job scheduler. This job scheduler is now saved. And then for tracing, we have to go to admin studio as I've told. For admin studio, we have to just overview. I'll show you from start. So all the resources In the admin studio will be present like this so this is the admin studio which we are using and the overview will consist of all the availability of jobs and uh, queue process and agents and other things so for now we are going to choose the jobs option where I can see all the OTB job scheduler along with my uh, job scheduler which I have just created as report creation so here uh, I have to just uh, disable or revert back the overridden I have just run the execution is 17 times I'm just going to override it and make it enable the exit uh, success is now on 17 and the last run is just now we are going to see how I mean the email should be sent the moment it goes to the 18 it is just executed one time the minute is given two minutes sorry one minute we can trace by selecting this specific node or any node so we have to trace by using this here the tracer will be open and you can see all the results for execution So you can see the count has increased from 17 to 19 and the email is also sent for every minute. As you can see here. So that is all about the job scheduler creation, tracing and execution. Thanks guys.